Hello, today we're going to be looking at how we can turn a Tenzig Windows 10 Thin Client into more of a zero type feel for your users. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to connect to a Windows 10 Thin Client. It's got basically our factory image on it. And we're going to configure it so it auto launches um, your particular VDI broker. So for this example, we'll be using the Microsoft WVD client. But the same concept would apply to uh, VMware clients, Citrix clients, RDP clients, etc. Um, so we can go through those examples um, in subsequent videos. But today we're going to walk through the process with a um, with a WVD agent. Okay. So you can see here in my Tenzig console, I have a Windows 10 uh, thin client connected. So we're going to go ahead and shadow it, and we'll do the video um, through the uh, Okay, so the default password is going to be admin, if you haven't already changed it. Okay, I'll bring this over to the screen. And what we're looking at now is my Windows 10 thin client. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and um, close out of here. And what you're going to want to do is, um, if you haven't already loaded the WVD agent on, you're going to download that and install it. I've already done that on this PC. As we can see here in the start menu, the remote desktop uh, agent um, representing the WVD install is completed. <clears throat> now, uh, specifically with the WVD client, you know, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to log off as the administrator account. So by default, our devices log in as the administrator account. Okay. We're going to want to come in to the thin client user account. Now, the password is the same as the username, so it's going to be thin client user. Case sensitive. Okay, and then with the WVD client, we're going to want to launch it and do the first subscription. Okay, now I've already completed that step prior to the video launching. So um, if this was the first time you're launching it, you will be prompted for a uh, user email that you will use to subscribe to your WVD session. Okay, so once we've subscribed um, with, with the user account, we'll want to log back in as administrator. So I'll go ahead and log off. Click on administrator. Now the default password is admin, all lowercase. And now that we're back in, the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to click on the little uh, carrot in the system tray. Um, and we'll see the little green circle here. And this is our right filter uh, wizard. OK, so we're going to want to right click on the green circle. And if your right filter is on and maybe red, you're going to want to make sure your right filter is off for these changes. Um, we'll click on the configuration section. Okay, and then we're going to go to, uh, it's going to default uh, to this uh, screen first. So the first step that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to set the default shell. Okay, we're going to set the default shell to Windows Explorer. Okay, so we want to make sure that our, um, the shell executable is C Windows Explorer.exe. And then we're going to press the default shell button. Okay. Are you sure you want to set this as a default shell? Yes, I do. In order for this, you must reboot the thin client. Hit OK. Now I'm going to say no on this. I'm going to complete the rest of my steps and I'll let the thin client reboot a little bit later. Um, so I'm going to hit no. Okay. Now the next step what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to set the custom shell for that thin client user. So we're going to come in. We're going to select the thin client user from the drop down on the user section. And now we're going to want to define what shell we want to replace the base window shell with, so that base explorer shell uh, for this particular user account. Okay, so we're going to go in to uh, the C program files. Okay, and WVD installs in the remote desktop folder. And we're going to scroll down, and you'll see that there's actually two application executables. 
it's going to be the MSR DCW um, executable that we're going to want to select. So we're going to hit open. Okay. And this is what your pass should look like. Again, for WVD. If this was Citrix or VMware, you'd want to select those specific executables as well uh, in this step. Okay. And once I've got that shell there, I'm going to press add shell. Are you sure you want to add this to the selected user? Yes. Would you like to reboot now? No. I'm going to postpone that reboot once again. Okay. Now, the very last step uh, to turn this into basically a WVD kiosk or whatever shell you've selected there um, is to set the auto login for the thin client user account. Okay. So we have this shortcut on the desktop that will actually do that automatically for you. So I'm going to go ahead and Click yes. And let the client reboot. And I will pause the video while the device reboots and be right back. Okay. Now that my device has rebooted, uh, what you should have seen is the uh, device auto logged in as the client user, which is our lockdown user account. Um, and now you can see that the only uh, shell option that we see, the only option here, there's no more taskbar, there's no more start menu, there's no more desktop icons. Um, the only thing the user can do now is interface with the WVD client and launch their applications or desktops. Hope this video was helpful. Um, please contact us if you have any questions and thank you for your time today.